Yeah. What's going on, Coco Mob? It's your girl, Yoke, and welcome back to my channel. So today is, hey Google, what's today's date? It is Saturday, May 8th, 2021. Okay, so it's May 8th, but May 7th was my six month post shave and big chop update, as you can tell by the title. And um, I know I'm a day late, but I'm sorry, better late than never. But I wanted to give you guys an update and show you guys what my hair is looking like in six months. Um, a lot has changed. I know it doesn't look like it's just the way I have it styled, but we'll get into that. Uh, but before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Swipe the notification bell to get updates because if you tune into the YCCV with the MLB, you don't want to miss a thing. Okay, on to the next. Anywho, um, so this is what we are working with. It doesn't look like much um, because the way I got a style, when I had style my hair, I basically have had the sides down and I keep doing it throughout the day. I'm patting the sides down so it can look more like a taper cut, if you will. So, um, yeah, six months. And this is what it's looking like. It's very thick, very full, very soft. So today I basically washed my hair, deep conditioned my hair with, um, not this. I decondition my hair with this mayonnaise. This takes me back all the way when my mom used to, when I used to have a perm and my hair used to be straight and my mom, whenever she would like wash my hair and decondition it, she would decondition it with this. But um, yeah, I, the, today was a wash day and this is basically, it. it's really nothing extra you guys. Like it's just the same old thing. Lately, I've just been wearing a lot of head wraps. That's really what I've been doing. But let me go ahead and show you guys my length um, because I really want y'all to see how long my hair really is. So yeah. So this short right now, but this is basically <laughs> how long my hair really is. But shrinkage takes over and yeah. So my hair is really that long. It really, whenever I wash my hair, my hair, um, it comes out to like right here. But because I don't have any type of shape to my hair and it just looks weird, like, it looks like a weird fro and I do not like that. So whenever I do wear my hair like this, I'll shape it. I'll basically just push down the sides to make it look more like a taper cut in the back as well and then just leave the, the top in the middle, you know, just leave it alone. So what I've been doing, nothing's changed. I just wash my hair, I wash my hair probably, I'm starting to uh, wash my hair a little bit more because the longer it gets, the more it starts to, it, it gets very dirty quickly, if you will. Uh, yeah, so um, nothing has changed, still wash my hair, once a week, still deep condition it once a week. I still use the, um, so I still sometimes use gel, but lately, like I said, I haven't been, I, I haven't been having to use gel because I've been wearing hair wraps and stuff and just keeping my hair covered up. And besides it's starting to get hot outside and the harsh sun can like really, really do damage to my hair and I don't want that to happen. But, um, Y'all, I've really been thinking. I've really, really, really been thinking about something. And I'm really trying to prepare y'all on what I'm about to say because it's like I love being natural. I really, 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 really do. I've been natural for the past seven years now. Either whether if I grow my hair out or I, I have it short, I've been natural. And I'm all for a cute taper cut but lately i've been seeing all of these pictures and posts on instagram and facebook of these girls with their pixie cuts and they're so cute and i'm really thinking oh, i'm thinking about getting a perm yeah i'm thinking about getting a perm and getting a pixie cut and i want a perm now i want a pixie cut 
But, um, and I found someone to do it. Um, I'm very sorry to the people that who, who've been following me, my hair journey so far. Um, to say this but I hope y'all don't leave because I have other interesting things to come um but yeah I'm really thinking about for real but um yeah this is an update on my hair like I said nothing has changed but I want to show you guys but this is it let me go ahead and give you guys a little spin on what it's looking like so And I don't know if I told y'all what I did, but after I washed my hair and deep conditioned it today, I basically, I didn't put any just why it's looking more fluffy and more like, you know, it's not really so curly, but it is curly in a, in a way, but it's not. Um, I didn't put any gel on it this time or any, um, I didn't put any of this stuff on there. I usually use this to define my curls and get it from looking, to get it to looking like that this picture right here. But I didn't use this today. Basically all I used was this. This right here, my Cantu um, Shea Butter for Natural Hair Wave Whip Curling Mousse. And this is basically what I used on my hair. So right after I got out the shower, I doused my hair in this and then just took my little comb and just combed through and then took my my the tip of my hands and went like that and just massaged it and you know shaped it to you know my um shape my hairline like this so basically that's this is the end in a nutshell it's really not too much to show you guys because i mean the it, it's growing no doubt about that it is growing like i have enough hair to get braids if i wanted to but yeah this is it and um just wanted to show you guys my six month post big chop update um if you want more videos like this please let me know that know down in the comments so that i can talk today also don't forget to like comment and subscribe so the notification bell to get updates why because if you tune into the yccd with the mlb and you don't want to miss a thing also don't forget to stand six feet from one another wash your hands wear your face mask and stay safe because the COVID is still out here. And I love you guys and I see you on my next video. Bye.